What's up everyone, Zona Fishing Dude here, back with another video. Today I'll be fishing at my local community pond, and I'll be trying to catch as many different species as possible. Let's see what we can catch. So in this pond, I know that there's at least five different species of fish. Uh, for sure I know there's bluegill, green sunfish, largemouth bass, common carp, and channel catfish. And I'm hoping to catch at least three out of those five today. So uh, what I'm going to start off with here on my medium heavy pole is going to be a bunch of corn loaded up on a number six bait holder. I'm just going to get it out over here where the carp usually hang out and uh, hopefully that'll get me a carp. Let's get the bait in the water. And now while I wait for some action on the corn, I've loaded up my ultralight pole with a little piece of red worm on a slip bobber setup. Hopefully this will catch us bluegill, green sunfish, or possibly largemouth bass. Let's see what this might catch us. Bobber's under. Nice, got something. First fish of the day. Ooh, jumping. Looks like a small little bass. Yeah. There we go. First species, largemouth bass. Got him on the red worm. There we go. Largemouth bass. Little little guy here on the red worm. Let's get him back in. See you later. Oh, my carp rod just got picked up. Oh, whatever it was, it popped. Wait, no, it didn't. Why did I get snagged? Come on. Ooh, bobber's on. Fish is on. Looks like our second species. Yep. Green sunfish. Another one on the red worm. Right on out. Here we go. We got a nice little green sunfish here on the red worm, species number two. Let's get this guy back in. How we got nibbled? Fish on. Looks like another green sunfish. Actually, no, that's a pretty big bluegill. Nice. There we go. Our third different species in a row. All on red worms. That's a nice sized bluegill too. Heck yeah. All right. Already met our goal. Three out of five species. There's still carp and catfish to go. 
and I had a pretty big bite on the corn a little bit earlier, so hopefully I'll get a, a carp before we get out of here too. Let's get this bluegill back in the water. There he goes. Fish on. Doesn't feel too big. Green sunfish number two. Another one on the red worm. There we go. Green sunfish number two. Get you back in. Fish on. Something small. Bluegill or sunfish. sunfish. Yep. <laughs> yep, green sunfish. Here we go. Another green sunfish. Back in the water. Oh, something went down right now. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, man. I got plenty. <laughs> Another sunfish. Oh, yeah. That's a fatty. Dang. That's a big belly. Yeah. Dang. That, look at that. It has like almost teal in it. Like, that's pretty. Beautiful. Yeah. Sunfish. It might be because they. <laughs> yeah. That belly is huge. Yeah. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Get you back. Yeah. There you go. It'll be all right. <laughs> Bobber down. Fish on. <laughs> Another sunfish. Flopped on in. Hold her down, fish on. <laughs> this one feels decent actually. It's coming to say hi to you. <laughs> I got a condom with it. What the f That's not a condom, is it? Oh sh Sunfish. Another fat one. Look at that. It's like pregnant or something. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that is a fatty. Another sunfish. Can I grab him by the lip? Yeah, nice. Look at that belly. Let's get him back in. Hubbard's under. Fish on. Oh, jumping out. <laughs> Looks like another uh, baby largemouth. Yeah. Another baby largemouth bass. Just on the side of the lip. There we go. Another little largemouth bass here. Let's get him back in. So unfortunately the carp have been pretty elusive today. I haven't even seen them swimming around the edges like I normally do. So I think I'm just going to call it a day, but at least I got three out of the five species here. Bluegill, green sunfish, and some largemouth bass. All right, here we are, back for day two of multi-species fishing. 
I'm going to be focusing on the larger fish today. Hopefully get a carp and possibly catfish. Uh, so over here on my catfish pole, I have a 5 aught circle hook with some garlic hot dog baited up. And over on my carp pole, a number 6 size bait holder hook with some corn. Let's get this in the water and hopefully get some bigger fish today. getting a tug on my hot dog. Yeah, I think it's coming. There it is. Oh no, something was eating it. Yeah, something's biting on my hot dog. I got something? Got something tiny, I think. Yeah. What is this? What did I get? Oh, nice! And largemouth bass on a big old hot dog. Yeah! It's been a while since. Oh no! And there it went. Bummer. Yeah, I got something. There we go bass again. I'm going to get my net this time. In the net. <laughs> I got him. Bass are biting on the hot dogs today. There we go, right in the corner of the mouth. Right on off the hook. Let's get you in the sunlight, get a little look at you. There we are, bass are biting here on the hot dog. It's maybe about a half a pounder, but yeah, very nice. Let's get you back in, buddy. See you later. I wasn't having any luck with the corn, so I decided to throw on a ball of bread. Let's see if this might work. Just had a nibble on the bread. Ooh, I got something. Yeah, feels big. Heck yeah. There we go. Got something on the bread. What do we got? There's a carp. Species number four. Got him in the net. There's the carp. Already came off the hook. All right, here we go. Species number four, carp on the bread. Just have catfish to go. But there it is. Let's get you back in, man. Here you go. Oh, he was ready. See you later. And now that I've caught the carp, I'm going to focus fully on getting a catfish. So I switched up my carp pole to a 5 aught circle hook with a piece of garlic shrimp in addition to my piece of garlic hot dog on the other pole. I also sprayed them with some of this bang garlic to hopefully get a better bite. So let's get them in the water and hopefully get a catfish.
Well, I haven't had any further bites on my hot dogs and none on the shrimp earlier. So I think I'm gonna wrap things up. Seems like the catfish here are probably more active at night, but I was able to catch four out of the five species that I know of in this pond. And it's been a great couple of days here. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you on the next one.